The amount of overdoses in this country is staggering. I have two gentlemen with me today who are really on the front line of this battle, and it's a tough battle, but guess what? Progress is being made. Uh, let me introduce you to the two guys here. Uh, this is Tom Duddy. Uh, he is from Adept Pharma, the makers of Narcan nasal spray. Tom, welcome to the show. Thanks, Sean. Also with us, Dr. Sean Ryan, who is Assistant Professor and Physician of Emergency Medicine at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. Uh, gentlemen, welcome. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you. For you. Us. This is fascinating. We could have an entire show about this topic. Tom, I'm going to ask you first. When I say epidemic, do you have some numbers to back that up? It is really unbelievable. I mean, we have so many leading stories here on Wave 3 News about the opioid epidemic. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. Well, nationally, I mean, if you look at it, car accidents right now, uh, the opioid overdose crisis has surpassed the number of deaths, the number of car, and then car accidents in the United States. If we look at specifically at heroin, uh, just heroin overdoses, that number surpassed gun violence death in the United States. Specifically to Louisville though, uh, you've had a couple challenges of late. Uh, about a month ago you had 52 overdoses in a 32 hour period that put a big strain on, on the healthcare system here in Louisville. Dr. Ryan, how did you get involved in this battle? Exactly. What, what, what was the point of interest? So was, did you see some of these alarming numbers and you go, oh, something's got to be done? Sure. So I've been an emergency physician for about 11 years in Cincinnati. And so we saw the epidemic kind of mounting fairly early. And we, you know, as an emergency resident and as an attending, we just watched these numbers continue to creep up. And I was doing a lot of uh, research in the, in the area and it was just you know, statistically overwhelming to watch what was happening and then every day go to work and see six to ten overdoses someday. Uh, and you know, when things like carfentanil hit, uh, I personally saw seven overdoses in about six hours uh, in one emergency department. And so, you know, I, obviously, you know, Narcan and naloxone is a very important part of, uh, of the equation that we need to talk about, and so that's what we're here to discuss today. So, so let's talk a little bit about this. So this, is, this is Narcan, and like you said, the active ingredient, naloxone? Correct. Correct. Okay, now, why is this r the recommended form of delivery as far as you're concerned, Dr. Ryan? Sure. So, so right now, especially in our region, we have to use the highest, safest dose. No question with the fentanyl, carfentanil, and other things um, that we're seeing and dealing with in, in the patients in our communities. And secondarily, it has to be easy to use because the first responder is often not a first responder. So, you know, our EMS services do a fantastic job, but they're overwhelmed. And often it's a police officer, but most often it's actually a friend or family member that's responding. And so they need to have an easy to use tool like this Narcan that they can administer to that person when they're overdosing. Okay, so what is the sex success rate with Narcan? as far as if someone is going through, for lack of a better term, I guess an overdose experience, what it was the success rate of saving that person? You know, I don't know that we have a statistical specific number as, as to the save rate. You know, if you get it early, uh, especially important with, you know, with brain death occurring at four to five minutes possibly, um, I, but I don't know that we have a specific number as to how many people actually um, are, are saved every time it's given. Because of the frequency of overdoses, Tom, I wanted to ask you, it was important to reach a lot of people and make it available, right? Correct? Correct. So that was the next step for NARC can and exactly how did you two partner up as far as making this more available to the general public? Well, we partnered up specifically Dr. Ryan works with ASAM, which is the American Society of Addiction Medicine. And we've done a lot of work in Cincinnati and Ohio and as as Dr. Ryan did as well here in Kentucky. He signed a standing order for uh, Walgreens stores in Kentucky and some other uh, stores that allow you or I, non medically trained professionals, to walk into a physician or into a pharmacy and get naloxone without an individualized doctor's prescription. So you and I could walk in tomorrow, today, this afternoon, if we had someone we cared about that was using opioids and asked for Narcan, and it'll be handed right over the counter to you. So you're literally saving lives with this. So it, would that be a recommendation? If we have a viewer now who is watching and they have a loved one who perhaps is having problems with opioids, heroin, uh, would this be something you should have available in your house? Absolutely. If, if you're the loved one or a friend or a family member of a patient who has an opioid problem, you should go to your pharmacy today and you should get this medication from the pharmacy without a prescription, uh, at least for Walgreens here in Kentucky. I personally signed the protocol. I signed several of them for the major pharmacy companies in Ohio as well. So in our region, uh, you should have the availability to go. And if it's not a protocol in your region, you need to go to your doctor and ask for it. I'm curious, Dr. Ryan, from what I understand, there are some who are at more of a risk for an overdose experience than others. Why is that? That's actually a very complicated question. It has to do kind of with the potency of the chemical that they're using. So whether they're getting heroin or fentanyl or fentanyl combo or other. It also has to kind of do with their personal tolerance. 
tolerance, how much they're using. Did they just get at released from jail and their tolerance is down? That's a big problem. So if you've been in an abstinence-based treatment center or if you've been at jail where you've not had any access uh, to any opioids for a while, your tolerance drops. And if you relapse, you use that same dose again, the overdosing can die very easily. Wow. All right. Tom, I wanted to ask you, why why the sudden rise in overdoses? What is it? You were, Is it the potency of the drug? Is it the availability? Or is it all of the above? All of the above. I think if you think uh, the potency of the drugs, as Dr. Ryan said, with the introduction of synthetic opioids, uh, causes uh, rapid overdoses very quickly because people think that they're getting a dose of something that I've used before, and it's different now, and it's much more potent. So there's that. And then it's the supply issue. Yeah, Dr. Ryan, I know this is probably a very simplistic question. But I have to ask you, how important is it for parents to talk to young ones? I know I, well, you hope that a loved one doesn't get to the point where they need Narcan, but obviously we're glad it exists. I mean, I'm doing a, a really valuable dividends here, saving lives literally. But how important is it to have a conversation about opioids with a youngster, a middle schooler? Yeah, it's hugely important. So we do know that the scare techniques that people are actually unfortunately bringing back uh, of frightening the kid, taking them to a, you know, a funeral or fake funeral and scaring the heck out of them, that actually doesn't work. So it's very important important that people do know that. But talking to your kids very early about the dangers of drugs and alcohol is key and critical to the prevention, which we got to do. we got to stop this funnel coming in, otherwise no, all the treatment in the world is not going to save us on the back end. Um, and that's why it's very important that you do address that. I have two small children, an 8 and 11 year old, and I talk to them about it very directly. Obviously, Dr. Ryan believes in your product at Adept Pharma, Narcan. Why is this the recommended uh, delivery method of delivery for you as far as overdoses? Well, we collaborated with the National Institute of drug abuse on this product. So we wanted to collaborate and come up with a product that anyone can use. You don't have to be medically trained. If we think about how naloxone was used prior, it was by physicians like Dr. Ryan and by EMS professionals that are highly medically trained. But we found out that overdoses don't happen in a hospital. They don't happen. They happen in the community. They happen in homes. So we needed, we wanted to design a product that anyone could use with minimal training, that it was fairly intuitive, that you place it in the nose, press, and then call 911, get that emergency help, and get them to the hospital. But first, you know, deploy naloxone. That's why we did it. This Narcan, obviously, this is this this will you know has and will continue to make a difference and save lives. With that being said, what is the next step, Dr. Ryan? What do you think as far as fighting opioids? What can we do as citizens? How can we help you? Sure. save lives. You know, we've got to support and expand treatment for opioid use disorder and all substance use disorders, and we have to support and expand medication-assisted treatment. The evidence is very clear. Uh, medication-assisted treatment for opioid use disorder specifically is the evidence-based effective way to go. We have to support that in communities, allow treatment centers to open, and really give people the opportunity to recover. All right, and Tom, before we let you go, again, for those who may have loved ones, family, friends, neighbors, who you may know have an issue, Narcan, they can just go into a Walgreens and request it. Is that how it works? That's go simple? to any pharmacy, walk up to the pharmacy counter and ask for Narcan or Naloxone. And it, the pharmacist will be able to dispense it right there under the standing orders. Wow. Gentlemen, thank you so much. I thank really you. appreciate your time. Again, the name of the product is Narcan. We can get a close-up look here uh, on the camera there the, of the box that exists there. But, folks, get into a pharmacy. Once again, once again, you will not need, let me, let me turn this over here. They wanted me to make sure that the camera can see this. You will not need a prescription. There we go. Let's put it right like There we go. You will not need a prescription. Uh, the name of it is Narcan. Just ask for it. Is that simple? That's and, and thanks to the work of Dr. Ryan here, it is now that is required that they have to, without a prescription, be able to distribute this, correct? Correct. Dr. Ryan, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, coming up here.